hello everyone welcome to my channel suraj in cloud in previous videos we have seen eks architecture and uh, control plane logging in this video we are going to see the envelope encryption for the secrets feature which is available in the eks let's quickly get going <clears throat> So what is this envelope encryption and why it is being used? So one of the key thing is uh, it is the security best practices to have a one more uh, additional layer of security and it is also part of defense in depth security strategy. So defense in depth security strategy means having more and more layer of <coughs> security uh, such as if one layer gets exploited another layer will be there to protect it so for example even if there's something uh, which will protect the secret there can be one more layer to give additional layer of security so you can read more about defense in depth uh, strategy as well uh, i think it's defined by the security agency of uh, united states <clears throat> now before going into the envelope encryption for secret uh, let's have a look at the kubernetes secret right now kubernetes secrets are not really uh, secured or encrypted anything they are simply base 64 encoded and not encrypted and what that means is if this is a plain text when we uh, create a secret from it, it simply encode it into base64, which anyone can literally <clears throat> get the value from this base64 uh, using base64 CLI or from anything. So now imagine if <clears throat> uh, Kubernetes API server is storing this value in HCD <clears throat> on its own. And if someone exploit HCD, basically they have access to all the secrets. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> one more additional layer of security here is having a data encryption key in which when user creates a secret, API server uses a data encryption key, encrypt the secret and then store into the HCD. Now, if you have done the Kubernetes, the Kubernetes the hard way, you must have seen that uh, we manually create an encryption config and the key and based on that we do the encryption, right? This terminology is also known as encryption at rest. But now what if this data encryption key or whichever keys we are using in the encryption config gets compromised, right? So there's still a risk of exploitation <clears throat> the encryption config which i mentioned looks something like this it's of type kind encryption config which we pass as a flag to the api server right to achieve this <clears throat> nice so it is there but again as i said what if that key gets exploited or compromised now let's go back to our interest eks in eks uh, we don't really see the control plane but what's happening behind the scene right so behind the scene all the data which is stored by hcd uh, obviously it is backed by ebs nodes and all this EBS nodes are encrypted and they use AWS managed key to do the encryption and decryption uh, for the data which is stored on this EBS node. But now as I said defense in depth strategy we need something more so yeah let's enter envelope encryption. <clears throat> now what is envelope encryption? As I said, it's just like a additional layer of security on the existing stuff that we have. <clears throat> so let's see how it is being provisioned in EKS and how we can enable it. <clears throat> so 
community uh, created this new project called AWS Encryption Provider with which you can use uh, KMS key to provide the envelope encryption. Now, in different scenarios, uh, there are different implementation of this encryption provider. For example, in GCP world, there will be uh, some GCP KMS which you can use. But now that we are <coughs> talking about a EKS, we'll see the uh, KMS from the AWS world. So EKS control plane uses uh, this project to facilitate that kind of encryption. <coughs> now this is like a very bad diagram which I draw but uh, here's how it works with compared to the previous one uh, when user creates a secret it uses data encryption key to store the secret in the etcd but at the same time API server uses that project uh, and talk to the KMS key which is in our account which we provide and what it does is it encrypts the data encryption key and stores alongside the secret now next time you request the secret to the api server what it will do is it will decrypt the key it will decrypt the key with the help of kms and then that will decrypt the secret and then we will get the secret value right <clears throat> Now there are more uh, additional features to it as well. For example, API server does have some sort of cache so that it doesn't make a lot of API calls to the KMS key. Uh, so it does have cache in it, but I don't want to go in much detail, uh, but this is how it looks like. Now this is very rubbish diagram which I draw, but uh, the diagram from the AWS blog post it looks something like this, uh, pretty neat, where this is the user. Once they create the secret, the API server has data encryption key, which I mentioned. Then it makes a call to the KMS key, which is in our account, encrypt the <coughs> data encryption key and the secret, and then store it into the data, etcd which ensures the one more layer, layer of security as per the defense and depth strategy. Now, let's quickly see how we can do this, right? Now, let's go to our Kubernetes engine and let's create our cluster, which is origin cloud hyphen one. I'll keep the version as it is the role we saw already in the previous episode now this is the bit we are interested in where we are enabling the envelope encryption using the kms now as i enable it it will ask us for kms key like which kms key we want to use now in the drop down i can already see a key now we will Go there and see what key it is saying. <clears throat> okay, so it is showing Surajin Cloud hyphen test. Now let's go to the KMS dashboard and see if that key is there. So it will be under customer managed key because we are managing it. So this is the key which is there, <clears throat> right? So we selected the key next and we'll select the VPC which we already created and rest I will keep the setting as it is. Now just to see what things are going I will enable the API server log to see what's happening uh, rest I'll keep as is. Create. Now it will take around 10 minutes to spin up the control plane. So yeah, let's take a break and come back. Okay, so our cluster is active.
effective and ideally what we have seen our EKS cluster will be having uh, okay so our ideally with whatever settings we have given uh, we should be seeing this hyphen hyphen encryption encryption provider config flag with this kind of encryption config which we saw earlier with all the KMS configuration should be there right now we can't really look into the file because it's all part of control plane but at least through the logs we can see that uh, whether it is enabled or not or how it is so if you remember I have all I have already enabled only the API server log so let's quickly go to the cloud watch okay our cluster is in active state and i think as i mentioned uh, our api server now should be having encryption provider config flag with the encryption configuration that uh, we have already seen uh, with the kms configuration uh, that we have let's go to the cluster and see under the secret encryption we can see it is enabled and the reference to the kms key id now one thing to note here is once we enable the secret encryption you can't really disable it and also at the same time you cannot remove it as well or change the key but if you spin up the cluster with uh, no secret encryption available uh, you can then enable it separately as well now to see if our flag is set uh, let's go to the logs if you remember i have already enabled the logs for the api server now in this we have to go further older logs and look for the encryption provider config flag now you can see the flag is set uh, with this file encryption configuration dot yaml now we don't really have access to control plane so we can't really see the content but it will be definitely encryption configuration with all the kms stuff right now uh, i already created a secret on this cluster we can see secrets The test one uh, get secret test hyphen of yaml you'll see now this is base 64 encode but behind the scene it is using the data encryption key uh, to encrypt and put it in etcd as well as the kms key to encrypt the data encryption key and put it into the etcd as well now to see the usage of kms key there's only one way to see because everything is hidden inside the control plane what you can do is go to the cloud trail and set up a trail uh, and see for the logs for that particular thing and that's how you can see but it, because this is my personal account it will incur me some charges so i haven't really set up the trail but if you are interested in to see the kms key usages uh, you can set up a trail and monitor it right so this is how you can enable the envelope encryption feature which is there in the eks provided out of the box which utilizes the open source project aws encryption provider uh, to provide defense in depth layer of security additional layer of security when you store secrets inside the hcd uh, if you like this uh, video uh, give us the like and subscribe to my channel and if you have not seen other videos in the series uh, please do watch them and if you have any suggestion do let me know in comment uh, till then bye bye